I'm trying to practice. But it's hard. Love your neighbor. That's a very simple word. Because I have all kinds of reasons why I cannot love that person. This week, you know, I'm accounting director, right? This week, one of my fellow workers sent a very, very nasty email to me. It was a personal attack and CC to my chairman. But the bottom line was, Young is a so incompatible. Incompatible? In, in, incompetent, sorry. Incompetent that he must resign from accounting director. Something like that. And uh, the problem is, it's a very groundless accusation. You, know, you don't accuse your co-worker like that, right? Do you? You, you do sometimes? <laughs> oh, we are decent people. We don't do that, right? But I, anyway, I, if you go up there, right? If you go up there, then there is more jealousy, more competition, more like a, a sore throat kind of thing. That's happening. <laughs> So, guess what I did? I mean, I had, she asked the question, so I had to answer why that happened, right? So, I had to research, and I spent that time and energy, unnecessary thing. But anyway, I, I made a worksheet, the uh, Excel work, a spreadsheet, and I sent, I forwarded. Of course, easy to uh, chairman too, right? And she became speechless. And she responded, well, we cannot do anything about the past. Let's forget about it. Come on! You accused me personally, and now you have nothing to say, and you just go away like this. That's not fair. For the first time in my professional life in America, I was alone in my office. I didn't really say, I voiced F you. <laughs> I didn't tell her directly, she wasn't there, but I said to myself, that's not fair. <laughs> no, I'm a decent man. <coughs> I don't usually say F word. <laughs> but it was the first time I said <laughs> Because I was so angry. I cannot love that person. That's my story. <laughs> you know, I even... I even thought about her situation, and why she's so nasty all the time, not only to me, to everybody. So I said, well, maybe because she got divorced. So I pray, Lord, please give her a boyfriend. <laughs> and God gave her a boyfriend, a pony, great man. And they even married a couple months ago. Praise God. I try. I try to love. And I said, how can I love this kind of person? How long, Lord? That's it. We all have to struggle to obey God. You know? I don't know whether she will be changed or not. That's not up to me. But there's a certain thing I must do. I must love. That's up to me. And my reward is not here, but God will remember. Each person has a portion that we have to do something for God. Live a life that pleasing to God. God will remember that. Paul said, your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Because of resurrection, we lose nothing. Sometimes you think, I lose so much. I lost so much. What is my investment? Because of resurrection, you lost nothing. Remember. And you gained everything. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jesus who died for us. May God please help us always be sure that uh, over your love and overcome the world because of our trust in your love. And also, Father, thank you so much for the resurrection, the hope. Help us, each person may believe that God's reward, the time of resurrection, so that we can joyfully live a life of pilgrimage, 
May God bless your saints and your wife. Bless them, Father, to be full of resurrection hope, full of joy and thanksgiving. Make them to be so happy, a godly people. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.